Welcome to the V1200HD ME setup tutorial. The V1200HD is a 2ME switcher. Let's talk a little bit about the different ME modes. So in 2ME mode, you get two independent mixes, two keyers per ME, and each ME can be assigned to an individual output. In 1.5 ME mode, you get an ME plus a program preview bus. And on the ME1, you get up to four different keyers. You can also take the re-entry of ME1 and put it to the program preview bus as shown below. There's also one ME mode as well, which gives you four keyers on ME1, plus you get two aux buses that can be assigned to an individual output. All right, let's show you how you set up your ME modes. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is in the video layer button, you want to go to your two, uh, your ME mode section here. As you can see, you have nine different ME modes. Uh, the first line is one ME mode, the second line is one and a half, and the last line is two ME mode. Let's do the two ME mode with four keyers. Next, let's look at how we set up our patch bay. So the first thing I have is my ME Program 1, ME1 Preview, as well as my ME2 Program on my Preview. B1 to B6 corresponds to your SDI outputs over here. S1 and S2 refer to your HDMI output. So the first thing I want to do is I want to assign my ME1 Preview to SDI1. So I'm going to bring up that window and select it. And my program under ME1, I want to go to SDI2. So for the ME2 preview, I want to go to SDI3 output, and my ME2 program, I want to go to SDI4. All right, so now that's set up. Next, I want to go to my label. So I'm going to go to my label section. As you can see, here's my labels for my inputs, and now my labels for my outputs. So under SDI1, remember that we assign that to ME1. And that's going to be our preview bus. And I hit the enter button. And SDI2 is going to be my ME1. And that's going to be my program. All right, enter. And then SDI3, that is going to be my ME2. And that's going to be my preview bus. Enter. And lastly, SDI4, that's going to be my ME2, and that's going to be my program. Enter. All right, now I've labeled my uh, video sources. All right, let's set up our composition and our MEs. So the first thing I want to do is tap the composition button, and you can see I have two keyers for ME1 and two keyers for ME2. First thing I want to do is I want to tap on the preview button under ME1C1 and ME1C2. And what that allows me to do is when I start setting up my keyer, I will be able to see that on my multi-view window. Let's bring up the multi-view window so that we can see what we just labeled. In the upper left, we have ME1 preview. In the upper right, we have ME1 program. And just below the ME1 preview, we have the ME2 preview and the program bus. Okay, I'm gonna bring up another window so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I want to edit the C1. And the first thing let's do, let's set up a picture-in-picture -picture window. So notice it's on picture-in-picture. -picture. Um, right now it's disabled. So in order for me to see that my preview bus, all I have to do is tap Enable. And you can see um, now I can move around my picture-in-picture -picture window. I can size it. Um, I can even fix the aspect ratio to like 16.9. All right, so that's set up. Next, let's go into our second keyer, which is ME1C2. Go to the edit. All right, um, right now it's set on picture and picture. Let's go to the key. So I wanna hit key enable. And so now it's enabled. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing in um, a key from HDMI1. So it's a lady standing in front of a green screen. And notice this purple dot. I can move that around to a position that I want and I hit chroma sampling 
and it'll sample the green background or the color. You can also do their, uh, go into it and do fine editing. So you can change it from a blue to a green, chroma, or manual. And you can change your saturation, your values, your hue, and your level and your gain. Uh, you also have the ability to do black or white luminance keying as well. Okay, so now we've set up our uh, chroma key and we set up our picture in picture. Let's show you how you um, bring in those keys into your live mix. So over here on this side of the controller, I have my background and I have my composition and next transition. So right now I'm in the background. So if I'm mixing these two back and forth, notice that uh, my program is switching my video sources. If I select composition, now I'm gonna be mixing in my composition. So currently right now with the dark blue button, it corresponds to C1. That is my picture in picture window. So in order to take that in, I just push my T-bar up and you can see my picture in picture window came up. So I can also use the auto take button as well. So if I hit the auto take button, it'll do a cross dissolve and disappear the picture in picture window. Let me press my composition button again. Now it's light blue. That corresponds to my ME1 C2. As we know, that is the key. So we're gonna bring in the lady with the green background and key her in over the video. Again, I can use the auto take button to dissolve in or dissolve out. So that's how you set up your keys. You can also set up your keys to come in using wipes and choose your wipe patterns, etc., etc. Let me show you a little bit on the layering. So over here, you can see that C1 is on the top layer, which is my picture in picture window, and C2 is my bottom layer. All I have to do is tap this button over here and it changes the layer levels. So now she's in the front ground and the picture in picture window is in the background. So again, that's setting up uh, compositions and MEs in the V1200 HD.